Hi, and welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and today I'm using the Best of Halloween stamp set for a not-so-sweet Halloween treat. We're going to use the Best of Halloween stamp set to decorate my not-so-sweet Halloween treat. And, you know, some people don't want candy. Can you imagine? But no, seriously. You know, we have a lot of diabetics, and you just simply can't have it. We don't want to leave them out, but we need something decadent for them, too. So how about some Pringles chips? And I thought, wouldn't this be fun to decorate? And I've already started. I have up here, let's take the lid off, because you'll want to take it off to decorate this. I have some Witch's Brew Designer Series paper up here and then some pumpkin pie and I've already attached this with some sticky strip but I wanted to show you how that's done. So I have some more Witch's Brew Designer Series paper and I have some sticky strip on this one end. So we're just going to peel this off. I rubbed that. I was rubbing on it so it would stick really well. So I'd make it hopefully easier. We'll see because I'm on camera. <laughs> oh, there we go to peel this away. So we're just going to roll this around. Let's get my writing down. I just thought this was so good. Poison puffs and dragon claws. And I want it to end about where my seam is. Okay. So let's rotate that. Keep all those seams together. It'll be more attractive. And get a nice fit nice and tight. Make sure I'm lined up because once sticky strip sticks, boy that stuff is pretty unforgiving. It's an awesome adhesive. You know too, and I could have started by adhering it down. You know, I could have put sticky strip on here and then it wouldn't be moving around on me. But hey, what would the fun of that be? <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. And there we go. And how cute is this? So I can rotate that. Look, all my seams are together. Looking so cute. But the fun part will be decorating the lid, and we're not quite done with this. You know what would be cute on our can? Well, some coordinating witches brew washi tape, of course. I'm liking this. I like the print of it. And uh, so let's just find the end. And this should be easy to just roll around. So why don't we start back at our seam. We've got these all together so you know all that is to the back. And let's start. Press this down. And just roll this around. How fun. Fun, fun, fun. Decorating. And easy. Don't you love how easy this is to do? Here we go. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. And we'll end right about there. Tear that off. How cute. Now we get to decorate the top. So we're using the best of Halloween, but did you know there's also a Halloween stamp in the That's the Ticket stamp set? There most certainly is. It says Happy Halloween. Admit one at own risk. Woohoo! So I have some very vanilla card stuff because my neutral in my which is Brew Designer Series paper is vanilla and they do tell you that. They list the colors in the catalog and on the back of the paper. So I have my Pumpkin Pie Classic Stampin' Pad because this coordinates with our Witch's Brew paper and let's go ahead and stamp. And this just will make the cutest ticket ever. So we're going to stamp that and then punch it out of course with the coordinating dual tickets punch. So just slip that bad boy in here, center that in there, and give that a punch. Let me get that centered. Fantastic. Oh, wait till you see how we use this. Look how cute my lid is. I took the haunted house from the Best of Halloween stamp set and embossed it with black Stampin' Emboss powder, stamped it on pumpkin pie cardstock, die cut it with one of the... Circle Collections Circle Dies, 
and then I needed a little bit of layer behind it. The next size up in the circle was just more than I wanted because it was covering my paper lolly too much. But look, the two and a half inch circle punch was the perfect layer for that. And I mentioned my paper lolly. This is one, another one of the patterns from the Witch's Brew Designer Series paper. And I used my Simply Scored scoring tool and did, 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 made a lolly. And you know what? I can show you a video on how to do it. So easy to make those. But do you remember our ticket? Well, yeah, we just did that. Well, I wanted it tucked up under here. Well, in order to do that, I'd have to have some adhesive, you know, unless I want to fall off. I'd have to have some adhesive, and it was covering up too much. And, uh, and I didn't want it hanging off the side. So here is what I did. I punched a small hole in it, and I have some linen thread. And what we're going to do is just pull the linen thread around and tie it. And then I can place my ticket exactly where I want it. How cute is that? So we'll tie that off and, and hide those strings. <laughs> so I know you're thinking this is so cute and you've got some people in mind that maybe some children who just simply don't need any more sugar with all the fun sugary stuff because I'm not done showing you things with sugary. But I'm so tickled to bring you um, something that will be good for those who just can't and definitely you want to be able to treat them. So all the stamping supplies, I've been listing them with their item numbers throughout the video, are available to order in my online store. So head on over to www.shopwithshelly.com and pick up the things you still need to make your not-so-sweet Halloween treats. <laughs> I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.